Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley and this is Bliss Studio Hobbies. So for this video, we are going to do like a diamond painting whip and chat. And we are going to talk about where I've been and where I'm going. <laughs> All right, guys. So I am still working on autumn leaves. Oh my gosh. And I'm still in that same exact area that I was in the... um last video where you saw this canvas. So I did not complete any diamond paintings for the month of November. And I believe I did not complete any um, October diamond paintings as well. I have been struggling to get some crafting done and to diamond paint. So I have not really been diamond painting a whole lot, but I am working on Autumn Leaves by Marilyn Cazanave from Diamond Art Club. It is a round 13 by 13 inch, this little bitty 13 by 13 inch, and I haven't been able to complete it, and it's been all month, right? And then, um, so I went to Diamond Paint, and I like to section my diamond paintings. I don't like to like diamond paint like this because it's kind of chaotic for me. So I did pull out some crafts with Crashly. Uh, release papers so I can section this little bitty painting off and get it done. I want to get it done in the next couple of days so that I can start on some Christmas paintings, right? So this little guy, I have some cover minders from my shop, Bliss Studio Shop. Guys, thank you guys so much. I came out with an advent calendar, as some of you may know, and they sold out really quickly. So thank you guys so much for those of you who purchased. Today is December 1st and I will edit this video and get it out today. So today will be the first day of everyone opening up their advent calendar. So I'm so excited to see what everyone thinks and to see everyone open up their advent calendars. Um, I do know that some people opened all of the boxes ahead of time, which, which is fine. But thank you guys so much for selling those out. I do plan on having more next year i just didn't know how popular it would be or if people would actually buy them or like them so i priced them really low for what you know i didn't make that much of a profit from them which is okay um i did it because i love advent calendars and diamond painting accessories right so next year i plan on um making more so that more people can get them because i did get some messages like um <laughs> After they were sold out, people asking for them. So I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I wish I could make one for everyone. But it was a lot of work. And I hand wrapped each individual piece. So that took up a lot of time as well. But thank you guys so much for supporting my shop and selling out the advent calendars. That really surprised me. And I'm really grateful for that. All right, now that I got that out the way, I do have some Christmas cover minders up. And I do believe that I'm going to be releasing five or six more today around noon so stay tuned for that i love christmas it's my favorite holiday because gift giving is my love language and i really enjoy you know giving gifts and seeing people's face light up when they get gifts and things like that so i put a lot of thought into my gifts and like i said that's my love language so that's why i really enjoy the christmas season so with that being said i do plan on doing uh, multiple giveaways on the channel for the december month so stay tuned for that um i'm going to put together like a little gift um like a little gift basket of diamond painting accessories um not just from my shop but from other shops and things like that um so i do plan on giving that away i just have to put everything together um and then i want to do a gift card giveaway so i won't be doing a giveaway in this video but stay tuned for that because some at some point this month i will be doing a giveaway to celebrate the gift giving season and also to celebrate that i hit a thousand subscribers so thank you guys again for that i have so many things to be thankful for so thank you, thank you, thank you. I cannot thank you enough. All right, so now that I'm done rambling and thanking you guys, let's get on to the video. Sorry about that. My alarm clock went off. I am recording this before I go to work, so my alarm was telling me to wake up, but little does my alarm know, I'm already up, rearing to go, and I'm gonna record this video, go to work, and then I will edit on my downtime at work to get this video out. Right, right. All right, so I am gonna section out this canvas. So where I've been, I told you guys I got a second job, right? That's, it's uh, it's getting better, but it's not what I expected it to be. So I'm having a hard time transitioning and having that second job, you know what I mean? So um, 
like I said before, I don't know how long I'm going to be doing the second job. It's taking a lot of time away from me doing personal things that I like. And I do believe in work-life balance and believe that um, you have to have some time to yourself and some time to do the things that you love and enjoy in order to um, enjoy life, you know, because life isn't all about working and making money. I don't believe so. So... I don't know. I'm struggling with, with that aspect of my life right now. And that is one of the reasons why I haven't been crafting as much. Um, and the second reason is, I already told you guys that I got a new puppy. I will insert a picture of his cute little self here. His name is Bailey. He is now four months. I got him when he was three months old. He was a rescue. He is a Husky Golden Retriever mix. As some of you may know, I have another dog, um, Charlie, who is, um, oh, I should have did that over. That does, it's, it'll be okay. Who is a uh, Golden Retriever. So, um, when I saw this dog, I'm like, he's a golden and a husky mix. I have to have him. And the fact that he was a rescue was so sad to me because I got him when he was three months old. But the, um, I was going to say the corporation, but the um, organization that rescued him said that they rescued a few dogs from this breeder. And the dogs came to them in bad shape. They were like skin and bones. You know, I don't know. The lady had a husky and a golden retriever. I don't know if she was breeding them or what. But um, I think they said that she bred them and sold to, was able to sell two of them. And um, was having trouble selling the rest and having trouble taking care of them. So... She wasn't really feeding them and things like that. So poor little guys. Um, so when my puppy came to me, we had he had like food insecurities and things like that. And I we're working on it. We're working on that. And um, he's a lot of work because, you know, I want to give him the time that he needs and getting him acclimated and training him is much harder than it was training my golden retriever by far. Like my dog, Charlie, he caught onto things very quickly. Um, the only thing we were having trouble with was like <laughs> behaviors around the house and um, like walking and things like that. But as far as like sitting, rolling, you know, stuff like that, he caught on very quickly. But um, Bailey is not he doesn't catch on as quickly and potty training has been a struggle for him so we are constantly working on that so that's been taking a lot of my time so when I get off work I come home and I just spend time with my husband and the dogs and do like little exercises and they play so much so rough like I'm like you guys are gonna hurt each other I'm gonna get my drills out here um, but yeah, and now I got a second dog. I know I'm crazy, right? Because my golden retriever, he would always like, no matter how much we walked him, how much we played with him, when we weren't like giving him attention, he was whining and crying around the house and things like that. And I'm like, what's going on? So I spoke to, um, a couple of people in my neighborhood that have golden retrievers and a couple of people at work. And they're like, you kind of need a second dog. And I think that would help your first dog. So that has helped. He's not around the house whining. They play all day. He has a companion. And I've really seen a difference in my first dog. So I am happy that we got a second dog. We got our dog a dog, right? So things are going well as the new puppy gets acclimated. He's a bully. You know, my golden retriever, he's like um, softer, more gentler, you know, things like that. And... <laughs> The puppy, he just comes barreling through, jumping all over uh, Charlie's back. But Charlie loves it, and he loves playing with him. And sometimes he do get a little too rough, and I have to say, Charlie, be gentle. But Bailey, he 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 can take it, you know. So that with that and work, um, yeah, there is no time for me 
to sit in diamond paint. And I really miss diamond painting because I really enjoy diamond painting. And diamond painting helps with like my anxiety and things like that. So I'm like, I need to get back to the things that I enjoy doing. Even if it's me like waking up uh, 30 minutes earlier or going to sleep. Because I now I'm like always exhausted and I go to sleep like sometimes at 830. I'm like, I'm ready for bed. So I'm going to sleep really early and I feel like I'm not getting anything done. So finding time to record, I think it's been two weeks since I recorded. So finding time to record and balance life and all those things have been kind of difficult for me. So that's why you guys haven't seen me, but I have to do something for the holiday season. Um, last year for Christmas, I know I'm just rambling, but that's what the whip and chat is for, right? <laughs> so last year for the Christmas season, I did 25 days of Christmas and I posted a video every day in December up until Christmas. And I contemplated doing that for this season, but I'm like, how are you going to do that? And you can't even find time to record one video, let alone 25. So I won't be doing that, but I did want to. But I do plan on doing my three videos a week, a true crime video, a mini, a mini, um, mini Monday video, which guys, let's talk about the minis in a second. And then a Wednesday video, which will be some kind of unboxing or things like that. But I really have not been buying any diamond paintings for the, you know, the last month or two. And then Diamond Art Club had their Black Friday sales and everyone else, you know, were having Black Friday sales. And I did not buy any diamond paintings. I don't even know what was released, honestly. So I'm going to go today when I have some downtime. Um, I am going to go and see what they did release. And if I need to add it to a wish list or purchase it, if it's in stock, then I'll do that. I don't know what sales they had or anything. I am totally out of the loop when it comes to like diamond paintings and things like that. I feel out of the loop. But speaking of hobbies, <laughs> I am really been, you know, following along on the mini train. Like, you know, the mini verse, the videos that I do. Um, so I am in this group, the adult trading group. And... You know how you buy the blind balls and you put them together um, and you never know what you're going to get. So sometimes you get duplicates and everything. I got a ton of duplicates and I'm like, OK, I am over getting these duplicates. So I went into the group and I started trading with people. So there's people in there who will trade because they have duplicates and you have duplicates. And if you have a duplicate that they need and you have one that they if you have a duplicate that they need and they have one that you need, you can trade or you can buy it if you want to. So trading and buying off of that group has been so helpful. I have legitly bought like 20, <laughs> 20 little minis out of that group. I have completed several of my collections because, you know, they have like series one, series two, the newest series three. I've completed diner and cafe. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, that's OK. Check out my mini verse, make it mini videos, and you would see what I mean, right? So, yeah, I've been trading in that group. So, that's what I've been keeping up with. <laughs> trading in that group and completing my sets and things like that. So, that's what I've been up to. I did get the mini verse kitchen, which for the next mini Monday, which is this Monday coming up, I believe it is the 4th. Um, I will be opening up that Miniverse kitchen. Now, before I got into Miniverse, I um, used to watch all the mini videos. And then when I figured out, oh, I can make these myself. That's how I kind of started like on the Miniverse train. But I am an adult who enjoys playing with mini toys. I never thought I would say that. But here I am saying it. And I'm not ashamed. Especially when you find an, a group of adults who enjoy doing the same little little hobby. That's like with diamond painting, you know? All right. So where am I at now? I've just been rambling, rambling. I do have my morning tea, which is my favorite tea. It is a yogi tea. It is sweet tangerine. 
I believe. <laughs> and then it's always a little saying on the um, tea bag here. Every neighbor can be your teacher. That's a nice saying. To me, I believe that's saying that you can learn, you can learn from anyone. There's always opportunities to learn, especially from people that are different than you and have different beliefs than you. I enjoy talking to people sometimes, sometimes that are different than me, just to understand where they're coming from. Even if we don't believe in the same thing, we can still respect each other and care about each other, you know? What have you guys been up to the last couple of months? Are you guys working on any new projects? Have you Did you purchase anything for the Diamond Art Club Black Friday sale? I'm interested to know that. Um, what did you guys get? I'm going to be looking up all the things and see what they released and what's available still. Because I do need to get... I don't need to get anything, but I am going to purchase a couple of diamond paintings. Having withdrawals here. I did go to Michael's. Um, I think this was early November. And I did purchase a Christmas painting from the new Michael's releases, the Make Markets for Christmas. So I will be unboxing that. And they had like some Christmas ornaments that you can diamond paint and things like that. So... I will be unboxing that this month in one of my videos. So my goal is to finish this diamond painting before I start. I have a, uh, a few Christmas diamond paintings from last year, especially with doing that 24 days of Christmas. I got so much stuff. So I do want to complete this one. This is a small painting. I do want to complete this one before I get into... Um, one of those paintings. I also have another uh, whip that I would like to complete this year, which is this art dot butterfly that I started. When did I start this? Did I start this in August or October? One of the two, but I still have this as a whip <laughs> and I need to finish that as well. I want to finish all. I, ha I have another whip too. I'll put the picture on the screen. It is a mermaid from Jaded Gem Shop. I want to complete all my whips by the end of the year, but I don't think I'm going to be able to. <laughs> but that would be nice to be able to. But yeah, I do want to fin go back to that Jaded Gym Shop one and finish that one as well. Mermaid in Her Goldies by Anki Moore is what it's called, I believe. So I have three whips right now, and I normally do one painting at a time. So this is me being chaotic i know some people have a lot to whips and i'm like how can you even like concentrate on all those whips i guess you don't i guess you concentrate on what you're working on and put the others to the side right right all right so at least i'm getting a little bit done i hope hopefully this is not all i get done this month you know <laughs> wouldn't that be something Oh, alrighty. So we're done with that one. See, diamond painting in sections works so much better for me. Like, I feel like I'm getting something done and it's not like chaotic, like all over the place, you know? Do you guys like the section off your paintings or are you one that just pull the plastic back and go? Sometimes you have to do that to get going, but I normally start off that way sometimes and then I'm like I have to section this off because it's too chaotic too chaotic so plans for the Etsy shop for next year so I did contemplate if I was going to continue with YouTube and the Etsy shop you know um but I when I'm doing it I really enjoy it and I love packing orders I love um when people are satisfied with their orders and when people are like, oh, give suggestions and things like that. Like, I really enjoy that. And when I was younger, I've always wanted a little store. So I'm really enjoying it. But I'm like, 
I have so many ideas and I don't have like the time um, to bring all of those ideas into fruition. So I just, I don't know. But one thing I have been trying to do is outsource washi tape. So I've been like making these designs for different kind of washi tapes and things like that. And trying to find a company that can produce washi tape that is good quality. Because I like washi tape and I like washi tape to match whatever painting I'm working on. So that's one thing. Um, I'm like working on so many things and that's why certain things get neglected when you have like a lot of things on your plate I was talking to one of my friends and she's like you are doing a lot of things and I'm like I am I I always am most of the time I can keep up but lately it's been rather difficult so and that happens sometimes where you fall short it doesn't mean you're 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 failing you just need to refocus you know refocus Set some new goals and crush them, right? Attainable goals. Because I'm always like, I'm doing this, this, and that. And then it becomes too much. So that's enough about that, right? All right. Are we done? Oh, I missed one. Missed a little one. You know what? And I think when I section my paintings off, it makes me want to diamond paint more. It's more satisfying to me. So maybe that there's something in that as well. I don't know. I'm going to take another sip of tea. All right. So I don't plan on being on that long today. I just wanted to hop on, say hi, say that I'm here. <laughs> Even though I, I, I believe it's been two weeks since I posted the video. Two weeks. Um, I got to get working on the next true crime video. I have really been enjoying the true crime videos. I did do um, research for a Thanksgiving true crime video, but I wasn't able to record and post that. So I think I'm, I think that'll be the next video I do since I've already like done the research and all that. But I'm like, should I save that video? But no, I'm, I'm going to do that video next and then... I will move on to Christmas. Well, not necessarily things that happen on Christmas, but you know, the next series of videos. So that's that. I don't want to go to work today. I want to sit here and diamond paint. That week I had off for my birthday in November, I got nothing done. Nothing. Cause then it was Thanksgiving shortly after and that was a busy time for me because everyone came to my house so I'm like trying to get everything done I I, <laughs> I had to purchase a bed my sisters um, were coming to stay with me and I wanted my I my I have an extra bed in one of the rooms but one room didn't have a bed in it it was the room where I was gonna put the dog cages um, because I do have several extra rooms because I mean, I don't have children or anything. So I had to purchase a bed, get everything ready. I wanted everyone to be comfortable and everything. So that was like a busy time for me. I did not want to host Thanksgiving. I normally host Christmas. Christmas is my holiday, but my sister are having out of town guests for Christmas. So we had to switch the holidays we were hosting and I was not happy about it, but what what can you do, you know? What can you do? Right? Right. Also, guys, let me know what's your favorite holiday. I know some people that, like, dread Christmas. I, <laughs> I love Christmas because of gift giving, but I also dread it because I put a lot of stress on myself because I literally want everyone's gift to be perfect. <laughs> And that stresses me out. So I just stress myself out for no reason. But my sisters are like, you're a crazy person. Because normally in October, I'm like, okay, what, what are you guys hoping for for Christmas? But this year, I, have, I haven't I have done that. 
I haven't purchased one Christmas gift and normally by Black Friday I am done um Christmas shopping and on Black Friday I just get like extras like if I see something on a sale or something I'll get the you know everyone something extra or I'll look at the ads and um if I know that it's something that someone wants and it's going to go on sale I'll try for that but normally by this time I'm done but I haven't purchased one Christmas gift and there I did put up my Christmas tree um and there's two gifts under the Christmas tree for me and I'm like oh I haven't even started Christmas shopping I know I know what I'm gonna get my husband for the most part but everyone else and then my youngest my teenage sister I know what I'm gonna get her but everyone else I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I did. I can't. I can't say that I went Christmas shopping because I got the puppies like some toys and shirts and stuff, some clothing. I put too many of these in there. So yes, guys, that's all that's really going on in my life. Nothing much. Just boring everyday stuff. Nothing really new there. So I think I'm going to get off of here and get ready for work. I miss the days. Um, when I first started diamond painting, I had a job it, where I could diamond paint. I worked midnights and I could diamond paint at work. And I was getting so much diamond painting done because I can diamond paint in between like answering phone calls. I was a supervisor, a nursing supervisor so in between answering phone calls in between doing my rounds and things like that I could like diamond paint and I miss that job just for that because right now there is no way I could diamond paint at work no way no way also now that I have a craft room like there's so many factors to why I don't diamond paint as much and it's in the basement. I, um, before I was diamond painting in my bedroom. So that was a little more like the diamond paintings were always in my sight, you know, cause I was in my bedroom, but now they're like, kind of like out of sight, out of mind. Like I want to diamond paint, but I need to mop the floor or I need to do this or that. So location as well and I don't allow the dogs in my craft room if they could come in here and I'm out of frame if they could come in here um I would be able to diamond paint but they just get into so much stuff and the time the few times that they have been in here they're just trying to get into everything I don't want dog hair um because they're long hair uh sh shedding dogs right i don't want dog hair on my stuff for my etsy shop you know so i just oops i just like keep them out of here yes i am using pink wax i just keep them out of here so another reason why and it's nothing in here for them anyway so i'm like secluded in the basement in my own little corner and my own little chair I can be whatever I want to be <laughs> all right are you guys tired of the rambles like I'm on a groove now I'm like I just want to finish this section I'm not going to be able to or I'm going to be like late for work <laughs> So I have to figure out what diamond painting I want to work on next for the Christmas season. Um, and I have to get that giveaway box together so I can show you guys what's going to be in the giveaway and figure out what kind of gift card I'm going to do for the second giveaway. So I didn't spill all the beans, gave you guys all the secrets, but that's okay. I hope you guys are having a lovely day and a lovely holiday season. I wish you guys all the best and I will be seeing you 
in the next video. Thank you guys so much for supporting my Etsy shop and for supporting and following me on my channel and social media. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. Until next time, if you love diamond painting, crafting, and all things hobbies, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share my videos with a friend. Until then, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.